episode three of Hopped Up Gaming East. You've got Dylan with you here. And Ben. And Andrew. And Keith. And Steve. And Josh. And Darcy. Right on. So we got plenty of stuff to talk about uh, this week. We're diving into some of Sir John A.'s Honey Wheat Ale. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, this was actually one of the Prime Minister, which is the lesser form of President of Canada. <laughs> Once lesser upon a time. form. Ooh, lesser form. form. I don't know about that. The oh, first, God. he's not just one, he's the first Prime Minister of Canada. history lesson for all of you there. Yeah. So we're going to dive into some of these. Do and it's fittingly there? a PEI brew where a confederation was signed. Nice. I wonder if that's a coincidence. And of all the shitty beers I've ever put in my body, this is the least bad of all of them. Yeah, general <laughs> general consensus is, is pretty good. We'll, we'll it's not just in. good, it's legendary. Okay. All right. Andrew's on his second. Yeah. Cheers, yeah, boys. Yeah. Dip in. Andrew's on his third liter of this stuff. So yeah. Yeah. Dip one. I'm going to stick to Oh, that isn't bad. Cans yeah, that's not Pepsi. bad at all. Yeah, Dylan didn't dip. choke on this one. <laughs> like last week, so this is a good one. rough. Well, last week was rough. Uh, um, yeah, so as you know, we kind of do a little roundabout here. We'll talk about what we've been playing. So, Darcy... You're the new oh, player. Yeah, you. you. Um, well, really, all I've been playing is Pokemon, actually. Pokemon came out, and I haven't had much time to sit down with anything else. Um, and then I stopped playing Pokemon, so I'm kind of just waiting for uh, uh, buying one of the new consoles or you know, Super Mario 3D Land, which I think we're going to talk about later. And, it's 3D uh, World. 3D World. Man. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> all the time. Everybody gets that. Yeah. I asked to pre-order it, actually, and they're like... Dope. <laughs> 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 3D land, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That was my hiccup. I posted on the What group a terrible I marketing strategy. I put the wrong fucking game in the thing. Yeah, you we said, talking yeah, about. Okay, we're going to talk about <laughs> Super Mario 3D land. I'm like, I have that game. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> well, actually, no, it's, it's in my Game Boy right now. Yeah. Nope, this one's for the Wii. That's cool though. We have some actual like other in Nintendo input, which is good. Yeah, I love the big N. <laughs> Everyone's favorite console maker. Mm, sweet. No. No, not everyone. Sorry. Yeah. Total, total sarcasm. I've uh, I finished Arkham Origins. It was very satisfying with yeah. that. I liked the writing a lot. That was basically the best thing I took out of that. Was uh, the story was awesome, on par with a lot of literature, which is cool. That's good. It's basically what you hope for with a comic book game. So. Yeah, like, cool. story-wise, yeah. it's probably the top one. No, I'll, those I'll, for I'll, sure. Yeah. yeah. I'll have to rent that one from the Dylan Lane game line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. No, it's awesome. I mean, mechanically, like we talked about before, it's, it's the same identical. Ones, so yeah. it's good. Like, that doesn't matter. It's like the exact same. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. we wouldn't know that it wasn't rock, or Rocksteady if, uh, unless That's they awesome. people bitched about it, which they did. <laughs> That's for sure. That was uh, a lot of why it got low scores. Yeah, people yeah, are like, oh, it's the same thing. Yeah. What do you expect from it? It's a video game, it's a sequel. It's supposed to be the same with like new background. Yeah, yeah let's it. rewrite the whole game mechanic. Well, yeah. Why the fuck? Yeah. Something's yeah. popping. The game mechanic works like yeah. changes. Exactly. People yeah. want more of what you've made. Yeah. So, so like, continue that really trend. I bitched about that with Halo. Yeah, exactly. Imagine that. And people do with shooters. Like, Call of Duty, every year people are like, oh, it's the same. Like, that's what people buy. Yeah. That's what they want. Like, what are you talking about? Of course it is. Yeah. Uh, and, uh... Case in point, sports games. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Seriously. Imagine <laughs> sport, <laughs> imagine real sports <laughs> change every year because people are tired of the same yeah. old shit. Yeah, yeah like... <laughs> Not gonna happen. I don't, think. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna change the rules of the uh, sport. We're gonna switch it up. Yeah, We're gonna add a second puck to hockey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine that? See how that goes. Instead of second to all the games. Oh, a second, <laughs> a second ball, ball to basketball. Yeah. There's a random yeah. knife hidden. Yeah. In the field. <laughs> <laughs> add, add, a add a badger to every defense line in football and see what happens. Yeah. I, uh, I started Assassin's Creed 4 as well. Jealous. He took, which is, he took the last one from Future Yeah, I snuck that out of Future <laughs> Shop's special deal there. I uh, Cheater. I haven't been a fan for a while of the way Assassin's Creed... It seems like it's middle to me as far as the combat goes. They haven't really advanced much since Assassin's Creed 2. Yeah. But the naval aspect of Assassin's Creed 4 is fucked. Like, full-on <laughs> insane. It's like exactly what you would want, as far as I'm concerned, like exactly what you'd want out of like a pirate game. 
Which is which is all they could have hoped for, I think. Like, I can't wait to play like, pirate games. It's so awesome. awesome. Is it like what? better than Assassin's Creed Three? Oh my no, god! Way dude, you cut. Well, you customize your ship. All that jazz. What can you awesome. do? What can you do for customizing your ship? Like, you can customize your hull. You can add different weapons. So, like most recently, I added a set of mortars, which are like long range. Oh, okay. aspects. Can I have a custom carved centerpiece on the front of yes, my Yes, you can. You can change the fucking <laughs> what? front of your piece. Oh, oh, I'm getting a big. What's that called? <laughs> <laughs> I should I should reiterate. You can buy a series of very different uh, front like faces on your boat. So what is that called? The figurehead. Figurehead. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, there's a lot to choose uh, from. And you can also you can get different weapons. And like the way it works is every time you change your camera to look off a different side of your boat, basically. Like, the weapon that you would logically be firing from that angle is what you have equipped. So, like, from the front, you have access to swivel cannons or, or a chain shot that can smash their mast to slow the mm-hmm. boat down. And then if you switch to the side view, you have your whole broadside set of cannons that you can totally just molest the side of a boat with. <laughs> and you switch shot, to the back, shot. you toss burning barrels of gunpowder over the back of your boat that, that you, can, you can then shoot with your swivel cannons. It's awesome. <laughs> and then when you reduce a ship to a low enough like hit point rating or whatever, you can board it. So all your crew gets all fucking jacked. They're all singing these like sea shanties. <laughs> it's, like, oh, it's, it's so awesome. You start like lighting them up with the swivel cannons and then you swing over on ropes and kill everybody with your cool swords and guns. And then you steal all the leftover survivors and use them in your crew. It's so awesome. Weird. It's so cool. So, so it's a pirate. You're a pirate. Yeah. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have no idea what's going on in the story, but the pirate shit is fucking cool as yeah. shit. So it's <laughs> Way more fleshed out than Assassin's Creed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh it's awesome. That's That's it's very cool. Pretty much Assassin's Creed 3, everyone and, loves yeah. being a pirate. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then on top well. of that, if you like pirate stuff, there's also all the other Assassin's Creed stuff. Just on top of that is a garnish. So yeah, I was going to say, how much cool of that game. is the actual It's still there. Game, yeah. And the best part is that you have access to this whole map. It's the whole, like, Dominican or, like, southern U.S., like, Florida and then Cuba or whatever. Yeah. And you can just travel all okay. over that. How much rum is there? Yeah, there's some, <laughs> as much rum as you can drink. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> How about you there, Ben? What's... So, uh, I decided I, on last week's show, I was debating whether or not I was going to get up early and go get a PS4. <laughs> and so I decided I would. <laughs> and... Uh, I didn't even really get up that early. I got up at like 8.30 and decided, oh, I'll give it a shot. Screw going to work. And I got the last one at Target. So, like, God bless Target. Hell yeah. All, all the Walmarts were sold out. All the EBs were only doing, like, only pre-orders. And I walked into Target. There was one left. I was like, is that spoken for? Nope. It is now! <laughs> so, I got the PS4 You're and the camera. Raging at the time. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was pretty excited. Um, and... I picked up Call of Duty Ghosts for it, which I'll probably take flack for, but I got it because it has split screen co op, <laughs> which is a dying thing it nowadays. Is weird. And uh, so I, I got that so the roomies could play. And then I bought the digital copy of Need for Speed Rivals, which I was, I got, like, got stoked on super last minute. I just like, watched a couple of videos and was like, this looks pretty sweet, so I got that. I had high expectations for that, actually. It, it's pretty good. The only problem I've had with it so far is. It is like demands that you be online. There's no way to go uh, online that's, with that's it. Super shit. It's so we'll it, like it's later. cool and like it, it works really well with that type of game where you're all just sort of doing the same thing and like you could be just doing your little duties as a cop and then like some person as a racer goes flying by and like fuck this guy I'm gonna get him or the reverse you're just doing your shit as a racer and somebody comes up as a cop and tries to fuck your day up. But, uh, <laughs> like, other, like other people? Yeah. yeah. It's, so, it's, it's like an awesome. it's, it's like <laughs> open yeah. world racing game. Yeah. So it's it's really neat. But uh, so it's like the races in Grand Theft Auto, but more focused, <laughs> but focused on it's, the yeah. Races. It's it's pretty cool, and like I sort of the reason I got hyped for it is I've been playing Burnout Paradise the last couple of weeks, just playing around with it, and. Uh, Criterion no longer yeah, makes yeah. burnout games. They got like drafted to do Need for Speed, so it's the closest thing to a new burnout I can get. So I was like, "Fuck it, I'll get this." I've actually, and I've actually pretty much liked most of the Need for Speed games. They're all good. Yeah, no, they're they're it's it's pretty. Sick. I haven't gone. Oh man, Need for Speed Carbon back in the day. Yeah, that, <laughs> that was a, that was a good one. Like that, like stood above. When Underground came out on the original Xbox and PS2, that was oh. like. 
He thought we reinvented it. Because it was amazing. It was oh so my cool. god. Oh, Little jog to the wall. Oh, no, no, no. I was on the inside, boys. Are you on drag races? Like, you're fucking. That, that uh, game really helped up. you realize that you like cars. My <laughs> god. Blow <laughs> stick fucking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jam a little jaw. Oh, wow. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Skeeting everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the best was the drag race with the fucking train in that game. Oh, that, oh like, yeah. You either yeah. had to try to beat the train. If the, if like if you were confident enough that your car was fast enough and you could beat the train, you'd win every time. But or you had to time it right so you hit the jump to go through the train. Yeah. yeah. So like it was um, it was kind of like skill, but also if you had a fast car, you would win. So. <laughs> so have you played much of Rivals then yet, or not at all? Uh, Need for Speed, I haven't played that much yet. Maybe okay. about an hour or so. I had some problems when I first got it because um, because it needs to be online. Yeah. Trying to play it the first day was not uh, much, not much tricky because <laughs> everybody was trying to be on uh, yeah. PSN at the same time. But uh, I played it a little bit since then, and it's, it's I had a crazy weekend. So work, your so. problem wasn't that it has to be online. It was. Everyone's because online. it has to be online, <laughs> the servers were... Well, swamped. yeah, because it has to be online, everybody needs to be on PSN to log in at first anyway, so they were struggling, so then it was a struggle. It's like Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, same problem with Grand Theft Auto. Um, so I haven't gotten to play that as much as I want to yet, but I mean, it looks amazing, mm-hmm. and like the little bit that I've played has been pretty fun. Um, I beat the campaign of Call of Duty... <laughs> Uh, unimpressed, really. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's it's a Call of Duty campaign. I've had more fun. I would put it like close to Modern Warfare One. I was gonna say I had Modern like, Warfare Two was quite a bit of fun. Modern Warfare Two and Three are yeah. like awesome action yeah. movies that you get to play in. Well, I'm um, running away from stuff that is blowing yeah. up. Yeah. Even <laughs> even <laughs> both the Black Ops, I I really enjoyed. I would put this like. Below Modern Warfare two and three and Black Ops one and two, it's like relatively like far down. Was there anything that like stood no. out? Like, did you like ever set back and be like, I'm playing PS4 right now? Well, for me, yeah, like just the first just scene, because like I don't have a gaming rig PC wise, so like just full on 1080p, locked in 60 frames a second, like it looks pretty nice. Yeah. Like, it's, 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 well, so just from what I noticed, just watching you playing it, like. It looked a lot smoother, like all the the, the frame rate. Yeah, the frame rate does not dip. It, yeah. It's it's and like well, from what I've heard, Ghost is like the least good looking. Yeah, well, because it's so. it's optimized for yeah. exactly. Yeah, it's like Twilight. That's the, that makes a game though. Textures and stuff are all well and good, but we're not going to see changes like even from three sixty to one yeah. or like PS three to PS four. The textures aren't going to change that much because the amount of polygons involved in the layout. That you don't notice it from like ten thousand to a hundred thousand, really. Yeah, it doesn't sound that noticeable. Yeah. But frame rate and uh, the physics involved, yeah, and all the that particle kind of effects and stuff, you can yeah. change. The textures are really like it's like a log scale. Yeah, oh, it's big not time. fucking linear. Yeah. It goes like this, like whoop, and then it starts like plateauing. Yeah, it's like a population curve. Yeah. Yeah. Really I think lens flares are there. Lens flares. Yeah, lens flares. Battle, I can't even tell what the fuck's going on in battle. I know. I didn't. Oh, I don't think I saw any lens flares. I mean, there's even no. scenes in space. So like, that's impressive. Yeah. Good because my eyes have never lens flared in battlefield as much. Like, no, I mean like in real life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't run into like, problem. I don't. I don't live my life through a camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that was fun. The the new the new zombies mode. That's not zombies because it's Treyarch or it's Infinity Ward, not Treyarch. So it doesn't have zombies. Um, it has Extinction, which is like the same as Zombies, except Aliens. <laughs> and uh, I'm having a lot of fun with that. Cool. Yes, yes, so yes, I'm a fan of that Switch. What? Yeah. Fuck the Zombies, man. Oh, oh, so I'm, see, alien, I'm sure Zombies will be back <laughs> in the next Treyarch game, but mm-hmm. like this is pretty cool. Yeah, uh, the no more death for sure. <laughs> they yeah. gave it like skill points and stuff to distribute among skills. Yeah, you get your you can change your loadout and stuff with cool. it. And then the the money is not just used to like open doors or turn on traps like that's there but it also everybody has like four it's like the kill streaks like things you can call in which cool. you do with money and like cool. it's they're not stingy with it so you're using it all the time to like give yourself extra ammo <laughs> or make yourself see through walls or whatever it's really cool um, and then Rezogun was the Playstation Plus freebie from Hostmark it's the same guys that did uh, Super Stardust and Dead Nation it's what you would expect it to be. It looks fucking awesome. It's like a old school kind of like Galaga or whatever shooter full of death game. Yeah, 3D. it's pretty cool. 
Uh, had a lot of fun with that. I haven't had time to really like dig in and try and score horror myself, <laughs> but uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's what. Yeah, cool. But were you there, uh, Andrew? Uh, just fucking playing the old backlog. <laughs> <laughs> I know the feeling. Man. This yeah. this past week, I decided to finally play Uncharted Three. Oh, way backlog! Oh, yeah, yeah nice. Yeah. So like two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. My backlog is never <laughs> never gonna catch up. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've never. I feel like I, a paleontologist. I'm in the grave with you. Yeah. <laughs> There's games I'm just never gonna play. Just like, like Deus Ex? Yeah. I'm no, never gonna get to that. Yeah. I own that. I'm playing Started that shit A, long as shit. B, hard as fuck. <laughs> I cannot beat the like second boss because it's not meant for a hacker like yeah. computer dude. You know, it doesn't work. I don't have enough grenades. You playing on PC? I got it on Xbox, but like. I picked it up on Steam. It's just as fucking tricky. It's like I traded in. Dragon's Dogma for Battlefield 4 because yeah, I'm don't, never going to play that ever again. Dragon's Dogma? Did you try that at all? I think that's for free on PSN. I haven't played it. Yet. Like, it's like, it's a very old school, like, when you die, you're sent way back. Oh, and, like, it's very relentless and it's like difficulty. Like the, Demon Souls? Sort of. Dark it's, not, not it's, not, it's not that hard, but there's no fast travel. Yeah, oh, it's, and it's like every time you want to go anywhere, it's a big. You have to like get a snack in real life before you can start playing. Because <laughs> you're gonna be there for three hours. Oh, oh, fun no fun game, but too much work. Like, it was really fun. The battle and everything was fun. Yeah, you could climb all over the monsters yeah. and shoot them in the eyes with arrows. It was cool. But it was but so it just long. Came, took forever to yeah. get to those moments. You would like go from one town to another, have this huge fantastic battle in between these two villages and you'd be like I'm done I don't want to play anymore <laughs> like I had my satisfaction and you've got this whole big majestic quest that you're supposed to fill out and you just don't have time that's the main problem with it I found uh, so what have you been chipping away at specifically Andrew? <laughs> Uncharted <laughs> what did you <laughs> think of Uncharted? well that's what I was going to say next okay. like it's since it's an old game I won't dwell on it so obviously my rating for Uncharted 3 was like, okay, it's better than the first one, but in my mind, I like the second one probably the most. Sequel. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I kind of I kind of agree. I, I, it's a toss-up between... I think the third one was funnier, but oh, uh, yeah. I don't yeah. know. Like, it is more character-driven than that. Yeah, it is yeah, more yeah, character-driven. It. It more, I got lost in the second one when the Yetis came. I was like, those Yetis look dumb. That's just me. So I, like, I like the they, overall... They've always had kind of shitty twists like that. Yeah. Like the zombies or whatever in yeah, the first one. Yeah, you know, the same it's like, alright, well... Whatever. Let's get on. Let's climb this stupid tower. Yeah. <laughs> I thought like the overall objective or plot or like the thing he was going after was better in the second one though. That's why. Yeah. I yeah. That no. He, definitely. For me, the third one was kind of dumb. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't yeah, know. I like the. the I, charity. I think. I think. They, yeah. <laughs> X plots. Sure. Yeah, no, they're worth checking out for yeah, sure. Right. I, I, I can vouch for this. The Charlie games are they definitely. Look, they definitely look nice. It's like Vinnie Jones' video game, literally. Yeah. Well, that's why. <laughs> no, that's like, why. just take the Uncharted games and erase Kingdom of the Crystal Skull from your mind. And just be like, this go. is yeah. Indiana Jones Indiana 4. Indiana Jones is like a great son. Yeah. yeah. Stuff. It's why I'm like pumped for like on the new Uncharted for... Uh, or whatever Naughty Dog. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. They, yeah. No, they... they yeah, Did they have something? Yeah, at the event. The Sweet something evil. Launch event. It's something. What? Sorry, no, go on. <laughs> they, they just announced that there is a PS4 Uncharted, pretty much. And Sweet. There, there was a little trailer with a, a cryptic sort of voiceover, but nobody really knows. There's, they like might be pirate-related. They're... The map that they showed during the, for that. during the voiceover shows, like... Uh, South Africa and then Madagascar and like supposedly there was a pirate colony in Madagascar at some point so potentially yeah. pirate related. I've got a huge boner for pirates these days. Yeah, so so like, it sounds pretty cool. Um, on my on guess is probably <laughs> Christmas, like fingers crossed Christmas 2014 but more yeah. realistically like Christmas 2015. <laughs> Steve's waiting for his turn, actually. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> anything else? Or just Sorry. Oh, uh, fuck. I didn't play anything else. <laughs> oh, whatever, man. Been busy all, doing other shit. We all know what that's like, digging into the, the Steam, like... Steam catalog is... No, I'm not even... Fuck Steam. I don't, even, I don't like, even count the Steam no, catalog it's as fair. my backlog. Yeah, it's <laughs> not fair. Not even good. No, not worth counting. I probably pay, played about six percent of the games. I've yeah, played like, as far as the hours are concerned, absolutely. Yeah. Bought The Witcher two, played for maybe six hours out of like whatever's in it. Like, I like the game. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so, it's not even like 
I bought, I played the shit out of Borderlands 2 this summer, and yeah. I, on the Steam summer sale, I bought all the DLC. I played Assault on Dragon's Keep accidentally, because I just <laughs> went to the place for 15 minutes. That's, I, that's all I've played. It's so not even like, yeah, it's not even like you don't like the game, it's just like, I d- just don't do it, like, I don't have time. <laughs> I just, like, forget. Well, there's so much content in the game, right, and they release this DLC, and it's like, man, I'm still working for the game. <laughs> yeah. But now you've got these other extra maps that you're gonna accidentally fucking walk into, yeah. and yeah. you're gonna be like, these guys are hard as shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like, you did, yeah, 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 I went to the wrong map. I, I, did, like, I, I walked into, uh, What's your name? The Tiny Tina's Tiny Tina. Right. I yeah. was like level holy one. fuck, <laughs> level ten or fucking <laughs> yeah. awesome. I'm like, oh, let's go here. here. Freaking just skulls everywhere. Like, yeah. Yeah. Skulls. <laughs> you can't kill this shit. Go back. <laughs> I'm like, what does that mean? Just shooting them, nothing's happening. Yeah. One arrow hits me, I explode. Yeah. Off the bat. <laughs> yeah. All right, Keith, what have you been up to? Uh, well, mostly score, but. Uh, and I've never heard of that game. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, yeah. yeah what are graphics like? Uh, <laughs> pretty realistic, man. Yeah. Sometimes that must be a new simulation game. Yeah. yeah, go ahead and talk about that. economics. Yeah, that, well, that's the thing. I've been uh, just, I don't have much time in between working, so I've just been playing a lot of sports games to, you know, not go crazy. Yeah, cool. So I did freaking around on Madden. Instead of just playing regular online, I decided to go back to team play because I remember playing. Uh, the team play in the uh, and I think it was Madden 12 it was really a good one anyway it kind of the way you connect other players kind of sucks really how so like you get into a lobby and like you each choose a side and like you can never tell where it was a mic because the mic logo is just always across the whole bottom of the screen to be like oh there's People with, someone, someone, someone in this here. lobby has a mic, <laughs> yeah, like, but you don't know who it is. <laughs> so you're like, hey, who has the mic? And then some ass yeah. would be like, me. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, who the fuck are you? Like, <laughs> I have a mic, let's play together. Yeah, good interpersonal development. <laughs> yeah, so that sucks. And also, like, I don't know if it was just my own internet, but like, the connections kept getting fucked up. Like, I finally got into this mat, like, well, not this map, this match, I meant to say, but, with two guys that had mics, so the three of us had mics, and I was even playing the quarterback, and we were fucking doing great, playing as the Eagles, and all of a sudden, I just got booted. And just I, like real life. I hate just, when that <laughs> like, It's like the coach just was like, nah, mm-hmm. and took me out, but I just couldn't play anymore, and I can't find, I don't know what their names were, and I looked at my recently met players, and I couldn't find them, so. Weird. Yeah, it just really sucks that, like, something's wrong with the interface to, for team play. And also, they hit it. Like, if you want to play online team play, you have to, like, fucking click, like, eight times through this crazy... Weird. And it tells like, like that, too. There's two yeah, more fucking menus. Yeah, fucking yeah. menu. I press X a hundred fucking times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like one way to play the guy. <laughs> like, Madden, Madden has this... I actually like the new menu in Madden because you just scroll across and it's, like, cool pitch. Oh, I love football players. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, to get to team play, you have to this go... so funny. You have to go over to the fucking right like four times and then down twice and click and then go all the way over to the right again and then you click team play and it's like weird. why wouldn't they just set up an the interface where you can look at all the menus by going left or right and then if you want to just rage quickly, why is there just, just four X. fucking boxes <laughs> yeah. and like play now yeah. <laughs> career <laughs> online, online yeah. options and settings yeah. and then just you can go to the left or the right if you want to look at your like stats and stuff, but if you want to just quit, just press X. Or, like, Did you play match. the multiplayer on Origins at all? No. Uh, for Battlefield? No, no, Batman. Batman. Sorry, I got upside. Uh, because, uh, like, sorry. it's really cool. It's yeah. a really cool asymmetric. No one's doing it. You have to play. Yeah, that's yeah. the. Yeah. Oh, okay. In order for a match to start, you have to have eight players. You need the whole lobby. Uh, and so that's that never. Don't place the multiplayer. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Madden does that too. If you don't have a full lobby, it'll just sit there. Like, yeah. It's bots. Like, I don't know. What are the bots actual fuck? Like, I know. Bots should be in everything. Yeah. I was watching Ben play it, and I don't know. We were waiting for like two minutes. It says countdown, full lobby, but the last second someone left. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, yeah, oh, start over. over. Oh, okay. I've heard, as far as yeah. sports games go, I've heard very contrasting things. I heard really good things about the, is the 2K series that's still doing okay? 
Or 2K, two K basketball. Yeah, that's the thing. That's, that's the thing. thing. Like <laughs> EA literally stopped making basketball yeah. games because they fucking. No, they made it. one this year. They made they one. Did. That's what and they say. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I told they're and, just terrible. And, and EA two K fourteen or whatever is great. I heard that the next gen reviews are awesome. The yeah. game is still. I haven't played fourteen. NBA yet. whatever it is, the EA Live. version, NBA Live twenty first two K fourteen is horrible. I heard that they still have the same kind of blocky issues that you have where like players have like boxes around them and like uh, it's just not realistic at all like if you're playing a sports game what are you going for if not that so, yeah, yeah like f- speaking yeah. of that when you talk talk about NHL 14 which I've also been playing there's absolutely no like block barriers they oh, did a fuck. lot of stuff with the did their engine. physics engine they, man enforcer they, engine or whatever it's it called? is really good they That's fixed cool. the goalie wall impressed oh yeah you oh, can fucking man. smash the goalie <laughs> I got so fucking pissed off about that. I'm skating, trying to get in front of that. That's for like to put up a screen for my defenseman to shoot it, and I'll like touch him. The goalie goes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, like, like, fuck you, man. What fucking beer? Yeah, 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 you skate into him, like slide off. Really? Yeah. 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 You can. You can level. Like, real life. All oh my fuck! You're so realistic. Yeah. <laughs> I was playing online and team play in NHL, and the goalie skates out to get the puck, and someone just fucking nailed him. Like, yeah, cranked him. It's like. It's like three fights bro, bro. Like, have you uh have you dipped in anything else at all Keith any arcade games or uh, I played uh Hotline Miami quite there you go yeah, it's pretty yeah. sweet that is, it's never I don't think it's game. ever too late to get into it's, that it's game. kind of impressed on me too because when I was studying today I was listening to the soundtrack yeah. oh, and it was that, really it was wanna, really really good you want to relieve some stress at least listen to the soundtrack from oh that game. yeah That's I was it. just say don't play the game because if you get on a bad roll you're going to be <laughs> yeah. so, so crazy <laughs> like, that's, another, that's one of the fun I started in my Steam library I started playing Hotline Miami I started playing Alan Wake I started, what was the other one? You're too far gone already. Yeah. <laughs> like, I started playing, like, four games in my library. Yeah. It's and a I, full-time job. Yeah. I have to manage my time between all these games. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, oh, I played this one too long, yeah. I'm not going to have to <laughs> add on time to this one. I guess I'm not going to bed tonight. Yeah. <laughs> have you played all over here? No, I haven't. Oh, yeah, man. man. Yeah. Awesome. We'll you got it later. It's fun. fucking yeah, sweet. For sure. yeah, for sure. Oh, my God. It's, it's a great, great. pass-around controller game. Yeah, All right, awesome. Steve, what about you? Uh, other than Dota 2 and shit. Oh, yeah. What happened in Dota today, oh. Steve? Okay, let's not bring that up. <laughs> Steve, I heard someone... I may or may not have got stomped. <laughs> for the first time in a while. But you you obviously had a noob on your team. Good for you. It, it might have been me. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing a new character. I wasn't doing that well. <laughs> Anyways, I fucking got a scribble knots in the humble box. Oh, oh, I forgot. Oh, oh fuck. I'm playing that. that shit is so cool. pissed. Yeah. How do you get this cat out of the tree? Oh, I'll just type a ladder. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking I was yeah. going to get that. Yeah. I forgot. Have you ever played scribble knots before? No. Oh, it's so awesome. awesome. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to do it. I want you to do it. I'm so pissed. I forgot about that. Your challenge is to find something that can kill I was going to get that. Really? Fuck. Yeah. If you can find something that can kill death in scribble knots, you're... Fucking awesome. Tsunami. Is it possible? I, I, I know, probably. I, it's the, gotta be. The work that went into the like vocabulary in that game is amazing. Like, put up a wall, put I a wall on the new one. Side of it, and Ultra then try and super strong on something on the other. Uh, no, the, the new one. I'm mad. It's, it's like all nerve. Make sure you get yourself some whales. Super heroes are in Because death will fuck you up. There's so many now. Summon Cthulhu. He beats everyone. So you can play Scribble Knots and Dota. That's just an MB4. Yeah. I have to admit, I have zero experience with sports games. Yeah. None? That's not true. Well, I brought three, so... You've never played a sports game? <laughs> no, not really. I haven't really, really played no. any sports games. I was big into the Midway, sports like, parody games. sports games in yeah. the PS2 era. I, mean, I had... I had Slugfest, yeah, the baseball game, and NHL Hits 2003. You don't know what's that happening. Game. I put a lot of I put a lot of hours in yeah. NHL Hits. Yeah. Oh my god! Yes. I told you about the new. Uh, they kind of use they use the exact same engine for NHL 14. Only they made it a three on three, and it's basically NHL hits. Is it like arcade mode it's, in fourteen or something? Or yeah, like? it's like it's called arcade. It's a downloadable like a DLC. Like oh, it costs okay. like nine dollars, and it's <laughs> yeah. you nine play three on three. That's a little steep. I mean, it's five. It's better than the Metal Gear Solid for a lot. Anyway, it's nine bucks for something that's a hell of a lot of fun, and like it would be a great drinking game. Yeah, and you just you pick like that. Oh, we should play it sometime. Yeah, we should. It'd be sweet. You can get it. I don't have 14. Yeah, but it's just that you can just download it. <laughs> is it. Is it standalone? I think it's standalone. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, we dropped our papers. That's okay. We're going to edit this out in a second. Yeah, because we're going to be waiting. Josh! <laughs> Josh, it's your turn! Oh. Okay, well, this section gets cut. He's never played a sports game ever? Well, definitely not like dedicated, I guess. Uh, no, I don't have I can't I don't have the patience to play dude, dedicated. You would, no, I fucking love it. No, I, I don't have the patience. I I'm too I just don't see nowadays to play the same thing over and over and over. I, I need what to, honestly is the difference between playing because it goes field and playing NHL because I don't play battlefield either. In the head. I play the story mode and then move on. Yeah, yeah. I, but there's there's a new story mode in NHL 14. Oh, bullshit. No, <laughs> listen, listen, mode. shut the fuck up and listen. To <laughs> it's called Live the Life, and I was I will say that it's just like a story mode because I was my little player. You know, I was doing really good. I was on the Devils. I scored like twice a game, and all of a sudden it's like it gives you these things where you can choose. Sure. You yeah. can choose an sure. option, yeah. right? Do you yeah. do this? Do that? Yeah. Yeah. Like you do no, it's not like that. Yeah. It's like questions. That's it's like sick. so. Right before my first NHL game, it's like the boys, you're at a hotel, right? So the boys want to see you do a prank, but it's really risky. What do I do? And my option was, screw it, let's do it, I'll be accepted by the team or whatever. So I did that, turns out it destroys the hotel manager's car. Like, destroys the hotel manager's car, and like, the coach talks to me, he's like, yeah, you're going down to the minors until you can prove that you're mature enough to play in the major league. I was like, fuck! So I spent a month on the minor league team in the AHL. Sounds like you could have been fucking. playing other games. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, <laughs> hold on for a sec. I'm All right, Josh, here. what have you been playing lately? <laughs> well, I've been playing uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Are those good? I, I like, like I've it. Heard, but I don't. I never had a DS or a 3DS, so I had no way to play them. I didn't play the first one, but my girlfriend did, and she said it was fun. So I'm like, okay, I'll buy this song because it's like, whatever. And I like it. It's really, you gotta use your head a yeah. lot. It's like, compare it to. Oh, Ali Ali Noir. I was gonna, but he does, yeah. Do you, play, do you play Ali Noir? Yeah, I have played Com- Ali Noir. Comparable? Like, I mean, you're not investigating. Yeah, well, you have to check out the crime scenes and everything, right. but it's not, like, it's a DS game. Well, yeah, no. <laughs> I don't care what the, I mean, like, mechanically, like, like yeah. you're, you're interrogating but, people or whatever, and, like, or I guess then, you're... But then you're the lawyer, who right. you have to go, like, defend them in court against the prosecution. They have their stuff. You have to cross-examine everyone. <laughs> then, fucking, objection! Yeah. <laughs> Do you actually have to yell objections? So, yes. Yeah? No. Maybe that's just... The really? Thing. No. Did you have to... Was that an option, though? Like, I don't you, know. Was that an option? I just remember reading... They the had, like, yeah, you yell, yeah. Objection! And it was like, you know, Nintendo, I saw that shit came out, and it was like, you could talk to your handheld, and like... I don't know, there is, like, a mic button when you're playing, I guess I'll have to try that. <laughs> <laughs> just be sitting on the <laughs> bus. Really I play. object! <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> it's like being a real lawyer. Yeah, I've been playing that, and then Pokemon... <laughs> I have to do my daily street passes. <laughs> yeah. I and then a whole lot of Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Oh, yeah I haven't played GTA in forever. No, I mean, I'm on with Josh. Or Jeez, we've been playing laxing on playing Dude, I haven't had fucking time, time to even sleep, let alone play GTA. Like, well, who else is going to beat up hookers with me? <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> is, that a, is that a game type? Game game type just Keith and I are driving around in oh, big dirty trucks. Yeah. <laughs> just one time, I yeah. had a fucking minigun, like standing in the middle of an intersection, shooting like just hookers, and I was doing donuts and an El Camino around it. <laughs> <laughs> just like where is it? That's the best thing I've ever heard. Yeah, like that is that is America. <laughs> that's America. That's America. The new, <laughs> the new GTA or the new DLC is out this week, so we should like join up. And yeah, that was fun. Oh, I got a new bikini. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely do that. I got a new bikini and some shorts. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah, because you're playing as a girl coach. Yeah. That's nice. You always play as a girl coach. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, as you may have known, if you were listening last week, we dug into a little title called Antichamber. Fuck that game. <laughs> Pretty much. That, that should be the back of the box. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> So the premise, of, I don't even want to do this, the premise of the game, I can't even explain. You're like a test subject. Okay. I, look, I looked it up on you know, Wikipedia. You know, yeah, it's like, you, you play, it's a first person puzzle game, the obvious comparison is to go to Portal, yeah. except Wikipedia described it as like, 
an adventure through non-Euclidean space, and it's pretty okay. much how it works. It's like it's like those. Fun, oh, its logo is that like impossible triangle. That yeah, nobody can see the hand motions that I'm doing, but like you probably know what I'm talking about. And uh, the one that looks like a fucking yeah, it's like a twisted triangle weirdness that like the sides don't line up. Almost like a Mobius but, strip kind of. Thing. Yeah, I yeah. thought Mobius strip I thought the symbol like right. looked like an AC. Well, yeah, but it uses the triangle. It uses yeah. the weird triangle. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's weird, like puzzle shit. Where like you're. But it's not puzzles. It's anti puzzles. Yeah, uh, anti puzzles. Whatever. So take, it's, you, it's take what you know about puzzle games, throw that out the window, and then try to play this. And so well, gamey, that's, that's but how, it is a puzzle. That's how I felt at first, but then as soon as I like sort of broke ground on it, yeah, it's like, like maybe not so much. It was kind of like what the I, reason that I was stuck for the longest time at the beginning was because I was trying to do puzzles I didn't have the equipment to solve. I just didn't know I didn't have the equipment to solve it. Well, so I was beating my head against the wall for 45 minutes. Well, the first time you were also kind of drunk. Well, yeah, but like <laughs> even 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 when I started playing it again, when I was we, Dylan and I were like tag-teaming it over Facebook, the, the only reason it took me as long as it did to get going was because I was trying to solve... Stuff I didn't have the puzzles, the keys to. Once I got the keys and the different guns, it was just like any other puzzle game. Yeah. Trying to figure out how to move these blocks to cover all of these switches at the same time. The, so, the main thing about the first part of the game is like, regardless of what kind of quality gamer you consider yourself as... You're going to get fucked. And it, it doesn't feed you anything at all. No. Yeah. There's no explanation of anything other than the main menu, which is literally... Just that, like within the interactive menu, that's where you change like the video settings and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like that's that right away. That's that not even a menu. That's you part off. of the game. Yeah. yeah, you're like in the game, and you're like, how do I change the resolution? And it, like, is already. I thought it was challenge. Cool. The start, like, the little screen comes up. It shows the little fetus, and then it's like. Oh yeah, I totally dig all the the advice cards. Yeah, they're they're hilarious. Hilarious. And yeah. that's like just one screen. And you're like. Okay. okay. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> kind of and then I'm like, oh, okay, let's condescend. So try to move, and I'm like, oh, oh look, it's a menu. What, if I and the other thing that I found funny is every time you finish the game, it'll show you exactly how little progress you made on that map that you're keeping track of. It'll show you that you eventually made it down one more corner of a hallway, <laughs> and that's where you are yeah. blipping away on the map. Yeah. I find the game, like, well, not so much later on, but, like, the beginning definitely fucked with you quite a bit. Yeah. The game, no, the game actually, like, fucks with you. I'm, like, walking down a hall, I turn around, and then it's all different. Yeah. Oh, my God, the fucking, like, <laughs> art gallery shit. The art gallery is amazing. That, <laughs> oh, my God, like, fuck you, art gallery. You basically, the <laughs> idea yeah, is you, you walk into this room that's full of these cubes, and on each side of the cube is a different 3D image, but, like... They will cut each other off as you round the corners of the cube. So you, like, go, you can go in them too. Yeah, there's, there's one of them you can go, you can go in, and it like loops infinitely inside of it. And then there's one way you can get through that infinite loop, and you're like, yeah, I made progress. I got somewhere else. And, and then surprise, it's another infinite loop that eventually takes you back to the start of the art gallery. And you're like, what the fuck? Is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do I do? Yeah. Oh man, that it, yeah, like, I enjoyed it once I like I broke it. I found in but, that art room there was something you can do in the art room. The little I found that little, little pink purple thing, thing, purple thing that yeah. goes yeah. all the way around the room. Yeah. And then it disappears. Uh, and I found it. it I found, like there was you some can keep other it going. Yeah, yeah. It, no, it, it goes all the way around the room and then it goes out. But yeah, the wall, doesn't it? Yeah, it goes out into the wall, yeah. but then you can't find But then like later after I got another gun, I like went down one of those pits with the things that you shoot the blocks and it stops it and you keep going deeper. Yeah. And then there was a little alcove and the little fucking purple eraser was there again. And I was like, oh! <laughs> there I you pushed are. him across that <laughs> wall and then he went inside and I lost him again. I haven't seen him since. They're like stuff like that and there's no explanation. There's very vague like metaphorical cues on those little cards and that's yeah. it. That's all you get. And I would I'd be interested to watch like a speed run. Yeah. Oh, currently, I before I played it, when I got home, I was reading like some reviews. I guess he can beat it in ten minutes. Huh. That's what I don't want. To yeah, because like the 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 ten the minutes? blue gun. Like if you know what you're doing, you don't have to go through that whole shit with the red and blue staircase. You can just go straight through the hallway. The first hallway, you can go into the black. You know what I'm talking about. You can do that right that away. Me. 
Yeah, Andrew had trouble with that. <laughs> Black <laughs> but, hallway fucked with it. You could, you could go right into that and get the first gun in under two minutes if you know what yeah, you're doing. Yeah. So I can see that. The whole game is messed. I just can't think. I have trouble thinking spatially enough to remember like where anything is. It's kind of did like you, an asshole portal. Did you do yeah. the? Like you I, guess, you're good. I guess you probably didn't get there yet because it's right before you get the yellow gun. Um, I saw the yellow gun. Yeah. Did you, did you get to that room where it's like a hallway with a bunch of doors and you have you like can there's little green buttons and they open one of the doors. <laughs> that room was fucked. Like, I, the only reason I figured it out is because I, like, warped back into it when I came back later, and the name of the room is called the Fuse, so you have to, like, chain all of those buttons together, and they're alternating on opposite sides of this hallway, so you have to, like, drop the cubes all the way around, and, like, start at one, go up to the ceiling, all the way around the hallway, to the second button on the other side, no to thanks. the floor, <laughs> all the way around the hallway, to the next one, and then you have to, once you connect them all, and you have to be careful not to paint yourself into a corner because you need to be accessible to the what? door, and then you have to when the, when you get the green gun, it if you break a shape that you make, it ruins all. The it like cubes. ruins what the smaller portion that's like not attached to anything. So you have to make this line. Sounds like hell. You have to <laughs> make this line. It's essentially a, <laughs> essentially a fuse that connects all of these switches. And then at the end of your fuse, you have to make a huge blob that has more cubes than the entire length of your fuse. This sounds like so a that's when you trap. Pretty much. You then, like, like, you then you have shoot to do this. the like take away one brick in the chain so that it starts to destroy your fuse and then you wait by the door and you're like ding and you run in the first door and then hope that it works and you ding the second door I no, ding the third door and, and like so as he was saying this I'm taking note in my yeah head. he's like I'm doing this when I get home I'm like yeah. <laughs> I know where this is I have to remember what he's telling me because I'm not gonna <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know if I did it the most efficient way but the room is called the fuse I can't think of any other other way to do that it was fucked the, the best part about this game is that none of us have beaten it I'm close I'm getting there we don't know what the actual end like result is yeah, it's just this but it's cool like how much this last I hate referring to the games in like generations these days because now it's such a like inconsequential jump between generations in quotations yeah especially on PC but like the idea that Portal ushered in of like a puzzle game that was like gen- genuinely puzzling for adults and like makes you think <laughs> like that's kind of brought in a whole new genre of gaming which like is cool Fez yeah. Mm. Fez yeah I bought a game for $1.30 the other day called The Ball <laughs> I bought that too I haven't played it yet which oh, on Steam. the idea is that you're this guy the intro of the game is you looking up in at like a hole in the ground and then someone is shouting down at you saying oh sorry we'll help you out <laughs> and you're an archaeologist that has fallen down to this tomb and you find this like weird Aztec looking skull mantle gun thing that manipulates this large orb where you can either draw it towards you or launch it away and you solve puzzles using this big ball. What the hell? And like in the screenshots for the game there's like a gorilla with no skin. That's what I saw. And like a reptile robot thing. Yeah. Do you do you like end up in an aperture science? I don't know, maybe. I have, I've only played it for ten minutes. I like fiddle yeah, with it a little bit. It. it looks like there's some sort of portal crossover. But it's know. brought in like like the idea of puzzle games has I become didn't... so much more prevalent in the last like five years. Oh, I love puzzle games. Yeah, they're fun. Like even like thinking back to Brave, like when Brave first came yeah. out, PC oh, and yeah. Xbox like, like, me off. So Brave, yeah. Yeah. I, that I, fucking puzzle where you have to like. Shadow kill yourself. Yeah. And, like, uh, double yeah. bounce off the guy. Fuck that. I <laughs> like that puzzle. <laughs> I love that game. It's been long enough for spoilers for Brave, right? Yes. yes. The last level in Brave, when you literally go back and cross over all the progress that you actually made, is mind bending. <laughs> you you actually see where yourself. You, like, where you find out you're the bad guy? In, yeah, in reverse. Yeah. You see that you're the one that's been manipulating everything, yeah. and like that concept is just. So cool. And the music Whoa. was amazing. Yeah, yeah. the soundtrack oh, yeah. was wicked. I had that soundtrack for sure. Yeah. Puzzle games. So like, I mean, that's what Antichamber is. I just cool. sell that soundtrack. I have... Easily. Uh, did anybody other than me play Quantum Conundrum? 
I played the demo. That was cool. It's, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's another one of those like portal That's, enabled. Ones. I tried the demo for that as well. It was yeah. weird. It's really cool. It's like you dimension hop. There's yeah, the, yeah. The four finger buttons. Yeah, at least on on it's the four finger buttons. Yeah, are, uh, Xbox too, I believe the different dimensions that you can switch between. Guacamole had that aspect as well. <laughs> yeah, so it, it was like Guacamole was awesome. It's it's fluffy, that fucking part fluffy, the heavy. Thing jumping at you. Uh, what's the other one? Reverse or something? Stupid. And. Or fluffy, heavy, slow motion, and anti gravity are the four dimensions. I think. Yeah. And it is a riot. It's, it's so cool. Narrated by John Delancey, and I'm a Trek fan, so that's cute to me. So just it's pretty fun. That's hilarious. Uh, but yeah, same idea. Like that game would never happen without Portal. And, like, no, awesome. definitely not. It, it totally was a huge. I started fun. playing that. Uh, Did you say butter chicken? The one with the pie. <laughs> The, guy the that TV feather bottom or whatever. Yeah. Fuck that game. Yeah. That game is the only game ever where I got to a point in a puzzle where I physically did not have the dexterity to solve this. <laughs> I was like, I, my brain knows how to do this, but I can't actually diddle this controller <laughs> effectively enough to solve the puzzle. I just can't do it. And I just like stop. It's on my Xbox. I'm like halfway through. <laughs> Too oh, much like shit. stuff to do. But Braid, the only I remember now, I have all the achievements except for the speed run because fuck that. Fuck that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, fuck speed that. Speed running Braid, not happening. I think I'm the same way. I have all the other achievements. No, no one to touch that. Uh, how far is everyone in the, to, into their Sir John A there? I'm just about done. Yeah, done. Just about done. I finished my well, second ago. I've been to two. What's yeah. the yeah? What's the general consensus? I give it a thumbs up. There you go. Yeah. It was not terrible. Yeah, we'll give it uh, four Josh thumbs up out of five. <laughs> it's good. It's I'm not good. usually a fan of the honey wheats, but it's very it's, sweet. It's yeah, pretty good. It's pretty better good. than last week's uh, horror. Oh brew. fuck off! You just don't like dark beer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a lot more palatable than a zero chokes out of seven. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's the that's, that's the really good good choke. Yeah. We can say yeah. Josh didn't mind it. Yeah. Well, in my opinion, this is one of my favorite beers. It's delicious. It's yeah. got enough sweetness. It's got enough bitterness. Yeah. yeah. I Absolutely. like how it's a 500 milliliter bottle. Yeah. I think yeah. that's yeah. fucking awesome. sick. Yeah. The bottle's cool too. Yeah. Yeah. You can really fuck some up. It's not <laughs> too weak. Like it's it's, it's a 4.5 percent alcohol yeah, per volume, okay. so it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. for high wheat. Definitely a, a repurchase, I would say. Mm-hmm. I, I partake again, I think. Cool. Would you now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so that brings us up to our sort of news chat, I guess, for the week. Um, so item number one on our agenda is uh, the PS4. So I guess I'm sort of leading that one because I'm the only one that has one. Uh, but uh, I mean, we talked about this a little bit already, so we don't really need to spend that much time on it. Uh, overall, happy with the purchase. Um, it's kind of it's kind of bare bones for me right now, just because I don't have any other friends with it, and it's very <laughs> it's very <laughs> em- there's a huge emphasis on like the networking That's aspect sad. of it. You can just buy me one for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, well, considering I just got a fifty percent salary cut, you can buy your own. <laughs> so, but, like, if you bought me one, I'd have one. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then you wouldn't play it because you'd be doing that. Yeah. I might be getting one for Christmas. Don't worry about so, it. So yeah, it'll be a little while before I really see the full potential of it. That's but true, yeah, um, I really think the the broadcasting is really cool, and like we'll probably use that at some point. Yeah, did you use the share button like at all? I haven't yet, but like. I made a Twitter so that I could link it to my PSA. Yeah, there's no friends to share it to. So, um, wait, you, well, you can do like a video cast? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so we can all be sitting here like, what's Yeah, that? exactly. We're all sitting here on the coach. It will picture in picture us. We are playing live. People can click on the link. You post it like automatically post the link to your Facebook page or whatever. So people can watch and the truck stick people with Brandon Jacobs well <laughs> and see my reaction when I freak out. Yes. And, Fuck yeah. and it even has a comment stream so like people that are watching can send you questions that pop up on your screen that you can see while you're playing and then awesome. answer those questions live like it's a console version of Twitch it's, it, is, it, it is Twitch it streams to Twitch oh, hold on yeah. hold on hold on, yeah. hold on. Andrew doesn't know what truck stick is. I have no idea what truck stick Okay, well, and there, <laughs> I can't remember. I can't remember what game, which Madden it was, but they introduced 
the truck stick. They is, called it that too. You, right? Yeah, that's what it's called. You push the right stick forward and you lower your body and you it's fucking you the fucking the truck, truck something. Yeah. Like you <laughs> run them over, right? So, oh, so you see their expression. So okay. you truck them, meaning you run over them and keep running with the ball. So they call it the truck stick. So now every time someone gets like fucking owned or run over you're like I truck stick you and they get yeah. run over yeah. <laughs> from the Maritimes you get run over over here Listen, sometimes that just happens so there's no control over you, so <laughs> who else plays sports games me I'm heavily into them yeah you do I, I, I only see we are the raising their hands right now yeah. we high five I, I haven't games. played a sports game in a long I don't play them like Religiously, I think we should play some. Like, I actually, actually, wait, wait. I, I have played a sports game. I played NASCAR once. Oh, that was a good like. I kind of oh. like that. All I did in NASCAR was drive the ox away by yeah, mouth, and that's all I did. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Hey, this is yeah, like I'd, be, I'd be going, and then I'd like everyone would pass me. I'd crash, and I'm like, "Fuck this game! Drive backwards. Let's see how what big." What I like about sports clubs. game is just the variability. It fucking changes every game. Yeah. Especially yeah. now, like. But the only thing I dislike about sports games is like sometimes the computer's like, guess what? You're not fucking winning. Mm. Yeah. Like no matter what you do, I you're find that lose. I find like, computer controlled players to be the one of the most interesting aspects of gaming is that your console is literally dumbing down itself yeah. to lose to you. Like how does that work within the game? Like it's a weird idea. Because technically they know exactly what you're doing it's all very the time. Interesting. Of, but how of game theory in that. Like yeah, that's crazy. They give they give each player a rating, right? Yeah. The, so the, the computer is a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're saying, but like, does it? How does that work? Does it just use the computer and say, okay, this guy's like a sixty overall. We're gonna well, use no, him at sixty. Yeah, I assume it's easy, medium, hard, just like it always is. At how much it dumbs itself down. Yeah. On crazy. You on play, easy you play 2K? Like you play on easy. We're gonna, 2K on expert. You on easy, on we're gonna pass the ball to you. Mm. And that's the computer. Oh, here you go. I'm thinking we do yeah. this in in two sections. Uh, a, what is the general kind of reaction to the hardware for the PS4? And then, if you guys want to talk, like, launch titles and stuff as well, I think that's what else makes the most sense. I heard something about an overheating problem. Have you... The only thing I... I- I have not experienced no. it yet. I've heard the, 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 the main kind of news result of that seems that it's less than 1%, which is a lot less than the Xbox yeah. is like 23%, <laughs> yeah. whatever the red ring was an issue. Corner. And I think that's just a, a byproduct of the fact that the PS4 is a sexy compact. machine. It's very good looking, it's very sleek, and it also has an internal power bar. It's yeah, like parallel. Well, I, I don't yeah. know what the deal is. That's huh? the fucking parallel. The, they didn't learn their lesson. I guess they're just terrified because the Red Ring of Death was Well, the, the Xbox One is huge for that exact reason is that you can play it for 10 years and it will never overheat. It's huge, has an external power brick. And like it's for the same guts basically inside. I can't, so it's like, I can't say I really don't like. Uh, like I don't care how big it is. No, me either. No, I don't care how big it is. I don't care how big it is either. But the power <laughs> brick is so uh, that, size is, doesn't that is a pain in the ass. I would rather the power brick. I uh, not a chance in hell. Power because then, sucks. then I don't have to worry about setting stuff on top of it. <laughs> but it's such a like it's so huge. Like where would the I put my? Well, like, you said it means, back. Yeah, but right in the it's back. just like. I could not believe it. Your I, argument is invalid. No, it's not <laughs> invalid. It's huge. Who who setting really things on power? top of your system is kind of invalid too. Like, who does that? Did you ever set anything on top of your PS3? No. Well, you can't well, set well, stuff the PS3 on top of the PS3. So, yeah. yeah like, the, I never put anything on top of my PS2. You, you stand on its end. Like it, the console is sexy. It's got very minor overheating problems. Seems like, like I mean, it's the same as everything. Problem. The vocal minority are the ones that are going to pipe up about it. So those are the people that are having overheating yeah. issues. Well, I don't see a problem it's with like that. like nobody either. posts on Amazon that their console is good. They post on Amazon if yeah. they can't yeah. play... Because it's broken. Exactly. If I buy a PS4 and fucking enjoy myself for 24 hours, and I'm going to hit up Amazon yeah. in the morning and be like, guys, I had a pretty good night last night. Yeah. <laughs> Same <laughs> with, uh, like when you, look at, <laughs> when you look at reviews for video cards and stuff for computers, no one is ever like, this works great. The fans <laughs> yeah. are like, we're running smoothly. Yeah. People are like, this fucking sucks. Five like, eggs, a new yeah. egg. The no. fans didn't turn on and like, house on fire. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. So like, and it's quiet too. Yeah. Like I, I barely. It's barely like, you call that the self-selection bias. Yeah. yeah. I it's find there's just a lot of okay, yeah. the controllers. No, that's marketing. Whatever. The controllers, as far as I'm concerned, are a nice upgrade. Oh, okay. major upgrade. upgrade. The like weight, it. for some reason, I need a controller to feel substantial yeah. in my hand. Otherwise, I feel like I'm actually going to break it. It's the same thing with a phone. It's yeah, like yeah. you don't want a phone. That's a PS3 like, controller. Yeah, I know. Okay, I was like, um, it's. <laughs> It's much heavier than the six axis. Yeah. Uh, it's it's not a, a lot heavier than the DualShock like, Three. I this, thought the shape, yeah, the shape of the actual like hand grips, much is better. a lot nicer. Yeah. yeah, I like the grip, like the texture. The one on the PS Three, yeah. I find mm-hmm. that the little dip that goes yeah. into the triggers it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. Hand. Hand. <laughs> like my my fingers are way up here. I feel like yeah. I just need to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're they definitely upgraded that, and the triggers are. The idea of a trigger is that it's not a button. It's not a button that your finger can press. It's literally a tactile, like, responsive device that, that feels how hard you're right. pressing on it. It doesn't mean you just press it. So, like, in a, in a racing like, game, you can tell how hard you're accelerating. It's a gradient, right? Yeah, it's not just fucking... Yeah. Is button press, yes or no? Yeah, it's, it's, it's literally... There's a difference between, like, slightly pulling it and then, like, totally yeah. grabbing See, onto when it. When I grab it, though, I rest my, like, right there. So I kind of oh, like that. Oh well. well. Yeah, so, your hands are weird. <laughs> um, <laughs> the general, the general idea seems to be this. That's how. So the trackpad oh, underutilized no, 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 at this point. Yeah, I'm sure. Like that. Uh, so I don't, so I don't, I don't have kills on yet, yeah, and uh, apparently yeah, that's the thing that you have to bring your finger from the back to the front could mean you're dead. Shoot with our one. But I like that it's. I didn't realize until I bought it that it's a butt. Yeah, so that's cool. So even if the trackpad doesn't work, at least I still have my select button. Yeah. Because basically, oh, yeah, options the is the new start. First uh, yeah. Share is share. Yeah, yeah, time. And then, you know, that makes sense too, because my buddy had it, and I was like, well, where's like the start button? He hit the options button. I was like, well, that's all it's ever been. It's just like options. Yeah, yeah like, exactly. Being, like, yeah. Start and select doesn't really need to be. It's not no. a start is actually a redundant. I, I, yeah. Not redundant it's, story. It doesn't make sense though anymore. It should be well, it's like Atari, right? Yeah. It's straight out of Atari. It's yeah. like start, <laughs> start the game. game. <laughs> select your that's game. That's it. Like, that's seriously what it was. So finally, yeah. they're like, Maybe we should change this thing. My only concern, uh, the trackpad has the sim has a similar daunting feeling for me as the Kinect does, where I feel like third party developers won't care about it. Yeah, and they won't. Well, really... it'll be cool it's, to see. It, it's interesting though because like, it's not like Kinect last gen. Yeah, Kinect and the touchpad are in every system now. Yeah, so it's a lot easier for. That's true. So I like the connect is native now, like it's built. That's Although you do have, you do have a bit of a point though, where like this is native to PS3, connect is native to to where Xbox. Saying, like, so they, third parties that are making for both are not going to fuck with. They're not going to bother. It's a lot of work. On yeah, there. yeah, for sure. Pretty intentional yeah. by the major companies to do that. Yeah, it's hard to say. Uh, but as far as the PS4 controller goes, just to reiterate, humongous upgrade yeah. from DualShock. Yeah. And again, yeah, my biggest thing is that it feels nice and hefty in your hands compared to the PS, the, the, the DualShock 3, and the triggers are actually triggers now. They're not toggles. Yeah. And like, I didn't have a problem with the DualShock 3, and, I, and I still yeah, think exactly. that this is yeah. a huge improvement. I, I mean, say, you're obviously, we were talking earlier, we're not going to convert the like hardcore Xbox fans that don't like the symmetric um, thumb, uh, six. thumb six, but I mean, that's just a matter. Yeah. Of, I think that's a matter of conditioning, even yeah. more so oh, yeah. than a matter Absolutely. of preference. So, like, if you've been playing Xbox, it's not going to change yeah. your mind. But, but I mean, in the same way, I was playing with this just as a segue into the games category. I was playing this Navy games yesterday, feeling how nice the controller was, but I was playing Knack. Oh, which yeah. is a shitty game. Knack got shitty reviews. Knack right? sucks. Yeah. yeah. You know what? You know what the controls are in Knack? Move with your left thumb, dodge with your right thumb stick, and attack with square and jump with X. Those are the controls in the game. There's no like deviation. Yeah, not, it's it looks like a shitty Crash Bandicoot. I'm it's not so I just I it. really don't like how like launch games seem to be a throwaway for some reason. I know, well, yeah, it's, yeah, it's especially weird. Knack. They Sony had a really weird marketing stance with that. They're like, we would like Knack to be a second purchase. Why? What the fuck? I, I, don't, that know, I don't know what that means. I don't know if they like realized it was shitty and that's just what they're calling it. But, but it was like they said, you're, you're going to buy your system. 
You're gonna buy Kill Zone, yeah, because it's awesome. And then, and then you're gonna buy Knack to play with your kid or your girlfriend. Like I don't get that. It's like that you, was the whole philosophy behind it. Say what you want about Nintendo, but you were in the you were literally head to head with the company that redefined video games in the '80s. They came up with Mario, which is like integrated into everyone's. Are they, are they really head to head with them? Well, whatever. They're, <laughs> no, no, but, but they're not. Like, I know. They're not at all. They're, they're not I mean, but, with them, but they're, I they're think not. I think in, as far as a universal gaming standpoint oh, goes, you're still putting yeah. a platformer up against this juggernaut. Whether or not you want to be platformers, yeah. Like, like yeah. I don't, I don't like it when people when they release Killzone and call it the Halo Killer. Like yeah. you're already setting yourself up for failure exactly. if you say if you put yourself against something that's established. But like if you're gonna set out a platformer. That involves basic like melee and jumping and stuff. Like, do something else. Like, make it interesting. There's yeah. like the well, idea that, I think they try to do that with the growth factor. But that's like, like, you know what though? The way I'm not. Oh, I'm not defending oh, I know. it. Like, it's, just, <laughs> it's just a shame that like it was so poorly integrated. And like the way the growth fit works. Like, if you get to a point in the game where you're supposed resets, to be tiny, it, it mean, resets you. It, well, like, yeah, it makes you or pay like, to open the door, yeah. and then you have to yeah. be small. And then you, like, it's just yeah. such a, like, what's the point of the system? It, it's yeah. interesting. I'm not ahead of development of Sony fucking game industries or whatever, but it just seems like an odd Would game. you even say that Halo and Killzone even really compete? No, that's no, the point. Like, people do like that games, comparison man. all the time. No, it does, it's well, not even a comparison. To be, to be like, fair, like, that was how they marketed the first Killzone yeah. when it came out on PS2. It, it like, eventually became This is our thing. Halo killer. They shied away from that pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was what they started. That's, that's, like, that's like how MMOs are like, Dang, which one is going to be the WoW killer? Look at PC. Guild Wars 2, fucking everything Good fucking luck. Oh, that yeah. shit. You're not gonna kill it. The only reason people are attached to WoW and shit like that because it was in the time and it was groundbreaking. Yeah, right exactly. now it's not groundbreaking. The thing is, it it's doesn't pretty it, much WoW with new shit. A lot of times, <laughs> the gameplay is a big factor, but it's also the people that grew up with it. Exactly. Yeah. Your gameplay plays a huge. Role. Role. And you have yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah. Well, well it's the same thing nostalgia. that people are talking about. Like, Legend will Zelda. people switch yeah. to PS4? <laughs> like, you've been playing WoW for what ten years now. Like, yeah. You're not just gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna play Guild Wars now and have no friends. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're gonna keep that entire <laughs> yeah. team, all your guild or whatever the yeah. fuck you call it. Actually, it. it's funny. When I quit WoW, I'm like, okay, let's download Guild Wars. <laughs> well, I, I can see that. I can see that. That's why I quit WoW. I quit WoW. I put that in quotations big time. <laughs> <laughs> that may or may not come back. You are not coming back. Don't do it. No, I don't. I, I, I have good faith in you, less so in Josh, but still in both of you. That I you have... have I have strong feelings of resubscribing for Christmas. Same, same. For the Warlords of Drain. I need to get get my uh, my holiday mount because I have one achievement left to get before I complete all of them. (laughs) I'm the opposite. I don't do any of that. No, I have too many achievements. I am a slut for achievements. I know, man. I have. have You're a slut for achievements. I always always feel like I am, and then I realize I need to play this game three times on the hardest difficulty. Never mind. That's exactly. Before (laughs) Mist of Pandaria came out, I had over 100 pets. Fuck off. (laughs) All I care about is my arena rating. Literally, I, I tried, I tried that. And like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, as we, I mean, we, we touched our arrow for a second pets. there. Spend yeah, we, we got off of we got off of our <laughs> <leading> <laughs> discussion. Our next, hard. our next kind of topic of discussion was uh, was the most recent big Mario title, which is Super Mario 3D World for the not you. This so, is not to be confused with Super Mario 3D Land 3D for the yeah. DS. <laughs> Okay, so, so my first point is why don't they fucking name them like a normal series? Like, yeah, why? There's why the, that's the it, thing. Like, there's a couple. Just, there's a couple fundamental issues with this game, and they're out. They're very. It's surprisingly outside of the gameplay. It's more so like extraneous stuff like that. The Wii U, like we were talking about a bit on Facebook, the advertisement for the Wii U is probably the worst. The name the is the yeah. worst name I've and ever that seen. That was their why first mistake, like, naming it the Wii U. They make right? it sound like an expansion. I know. And did you see they they just they just redid the Wii again? I don't know what they're calling it, but it's, it's only like, it's a Wii Mini. Yeah, it's in the states Imagine. now. It doesn't have internet. It yeah. doesn't have internet. <laughs> yeah, what not, the fuck? no. <laughs> not only does it not have wireless internet, it does not have an Ethernet. No, box. it has zero internet. It's not possible to do it on the internet. So thing. you cannot access the like <laughs> fucking Super Nintendo <laughs> library. Yes, yeah. yeah. play the fucking virtual console. Yeah. Games. So you, you have this console that can only play like the very few intense like Wii first party exclusives. Yeah. And then, like, you can imagine the 
fucking but drones and drones and drones. It's still of... called the Wii. Yeah. So a kid is going to be like, a kid who actually Wii. wants a Wii U yeah. goes to their parents and says, buy me the new Wii. And they get this fucking tiny ass, <sighs> shitty, no internet mini Wii and the Wii U just rots and like is and that worth the fucking and a child just, cries yeah. <laughs> there was, goes, yeah. well, what did I do wrong yeah. Yeah. there were many internet videos that kind of <clears throat> documented how little people understood about the fact there was a new console mm. but then recently like we were talking about Facebook like I don't know my mom commented and was like is this the same thing and it's exactly what the problem is is that exactly. no one fucking knows that's an unbiased opinion right there that's yeah a good example. that's the thing is that and, and the other thing is like the Wii in general, the Nintendo consoles are marketed towards family audiences. Yeah, I find yeah, Nintendo's yeah, been really weird with consoles lately. Yeah, the, the 3D 2S. I think what they're most afraid of was that they sold the most Wii's. You know, it sold more than anything, but at the end of the day, it sat on the, someone's on the desk and, and played didn't play it. Yeah, well, and like right at homebrew, whatever. But I think they were afraid that if they didn't call it the Wii, people would be like, "What is this?" But fuck that! Every single console up until the Wii has been different. Has been a different fucking yeah. game. So like, what were they on? And they're and Nintendo. You put Nintendo. No, like, that's like that's what, 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 call it the Wii too. End of yeah. discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. But they made it a U. Maybe it was just like a parents almost universally in North America, at least soon be universally. <laughs> they call video games Nintendo. Oh, yeah. big time! That's it. For Are ages. you still playing those Nintendo games? Yeah, that's yeah. just what is synonymous with yeah. gaming. Like they already they had, had such an establishment, establishment yeah, and then they they literally fucked it up for themselves. And like Josh was saying, the the 3DS itself was an issue. Was well, that it yeah, wasn't yeah. marketed at all, no. really, and that games didn't come out with it or for it till maybe four like months year, later. Yeah, at least. Four four months. Months. And yeah. I didn't realize that everyone was calling every form of video games Nintendo, and they didn't roll with that. How did that, how did that slip through the cracks? <laughs> yeah. Like same with like how we I refer to everything as a Game Boy, a PSP yeah. as a Game Boy, a game DS as a Game mm-hmm. Boy. Like, like, how does something that like if, if they would have rolled with that? Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, they, we should have, they should have had this market in the bag. We were talking about this as well. Uh, yeah. But they very fucked well, up. That, I, I, well, okay, Game Boy. Well, Game Boy, maybe not. Game, but with, the, with Wii, though, I think the big problem is there's no way they can ever replicate that because the majority of the Wii sales are grandmas and, like, yeah. random people that don't buy consoles. Yeah. But I think and there's a big, they, no, big but, market they, for that. Is there though? Like there, the, there I is. There is. There well, is because they, they sold it. But right. is that market re? Are they going to come it's back the name. and buy the next yeah. one? No, not even the name. No, no, no. They don't care about better graphics. They just want to play bowling. Yeah, they want so that first. Set, they they basically. bought one and now they're done. They don't yeah. care. They don't want the newest. Is there rebuyability? They're yeah. not. Yeah, I don't think there is. And that's why people are talking about like whether or not the Wii can compete with the next gen. Like tech can right period. now. They're yeah. a step behind. But, like, yeah. People, people yeah. always buy new shit. I mean, you could say, yeah, but that only generation. a small select. Like, yeah. although it will. To be fair, I will argue. That really, people... really, growing up with our yeah. parents, you think that <laughs> Reese Parker would buy the Wii Two? He's too no, cheap no. to buy a second mode. This is just a hilarious side story. <laughs> Dad has a shitty wireless mode, and it's been a shitty wireless mode for years. And every time I go it's home, I want to throw it out the right. window. It is garbage. It's horrible. He won't buy a new one. He won't buy a new one. And then get this. Oh, it works good. Last <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. Work good. The last time I was home, I was trying to use it. And I was like, what in the fuck is going on with this mouse? It's even more screwed up than usual. And mom was like, oh yeah, I was going to warn you. He was he thought that the left click button was wearing out. So he went into settings and switched them. So he didn't have to buy a new mouse. So now right click is left click because no one ever oh right clicks. So I figured that out so fast. I was trying to play a thing on Netflix. I was like, why the fuck? Is this? Why can I just like, get out of this tab? Like, settings, fuck settings, off. Settings. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. So this is what I was like, like, those people are never going to buy the Wii U. (laughs) They're never going to buy the Wii 2. It doesn't matter what you call it. They're not going to buy another one. Kind of in in the opposite of that, though, I do agree with you. I think that the mainstream audience is not sure of what they want, and that's kind of the the difficulty in advertising for them. But on the offhand, you have people that are very set, which is the majority of gamers that still have a little bit of uh, kind of... Relation to the like big Nintendo names like the like whatever yeah. the Zelda games. Well, those are the whatever they are That's three million that happens, that bought yeah. the Wii U. Yeah, but yeah. So, okay, as well, I I would be a hundred percent happy if Nintendo 
funnel everything into, into the game mobile, mobile gaming. Yeah, fuck that. I, I that. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. they're the best. Yeah, they're, they're absolutely the, the best. The 3DS is a fucking the three the three DS is fucking and best console. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's it's so well done. Got more enjoyment out of that thing in the last. I mean, it took a year. But this thing, <laughs> as soon as Pokemon was on the horizon, I was like, man. They are going to sell so fucking many. They did, right now, the 3DS is the best-selling console overall. Which sure. the last, like, fucking awesome. Because yeah. Pokemon can yeah. 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 And, like, <laughs> and all that comes out tomorrow. The thing is, they have, they have that power, and they, like, play with it. They don't, like, focus on it. They, like, toss it around. around. They should yeah. focus on it. They make the 2DS. Yeah. 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 Although, the, the, the 2DS well. apparently is a lot better yeah. than it seems at first glance. Well, apparently. I would have to see that to believe it. No. Good. Yeah. Holding it felt good. I've heard it's how, hurt. How big is it in real life? It's, it's like it's the 3DS opened up pretty much. This big. Okay. Yeah, okay, so that's not so. Because, like, the pictures that I've seen of it made it look like a fucking gigantic beast. That, I was like, was this is it's, horrible. It's, it's, there's two factors, though. It's ergonomic, and it doesn't have a hinge that your kids can fucking sh- fuck up because they're kids, made, stupid right? kids. It's for stupid but kids. But it's yeah. huge. Well, maybe it's, it's not, not huge. It's it looks huge. It's, 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 it's as tall as a game. Yeah. It's like, it's like, like I guess, I guess that's like a cool Why don't they bring that back? Why? Like, why isn't there a the Game Boy? just said it's time. Uh, it's the dual screen idea, right? Yeah, but why don't they call it the Game Boy DS? I have no idea. Because that would be slick. Now, and I mean, technically, the DS means dual okay. screen. This thing right now, there's a, there's a thing that exists called the the two dual screen because it's the two DS. That's what they're at. If they insert Game that. Boy on the fucking title, I would show up at my grandparents' house and they'd fucking buy me one. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Look, I saw you new Game Boy. Game Boy. And yeah, yeah. I got a generation that's growing like, up that now is going to have kids and they're going to be like, huh, I had a Game Boy. Yeah. And they're going to see that. You and know that. Buy it. Like, you know I, that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it is totally brand recognition because I yeah. say that. I say, like, I'm going to grab my Game Boy. Let me yeah. grab my Game Boy. Oh, well, yeah, I was on a plane, like, going to a conference in January. And I had my Vita, and I was playing. Some woman was sitting next to me, and she's like, "Oh, it looks like you're doing like some cool stuff on there. What? What is that? Is that a cell phone?" And I was like, "No, it's it's basically a fancy Game Boy." Yeah, like, like that's the thing. Like, and she was like, "Oh yeah, okay." It's yeah. like yeah. Uh, it's the same as Kleenex. Like I have an argument. Like I mean, my roommate argues all the time. He always says. He always corrects me or anybody. He says satellites instead of moons. Oh, yeah. But to me, moon is become synonymous with an orbiting satellite. It's the same fucking thing. Jupiter has many moons. It doesn't have satellites to me. It's the same as a Kleenex versus a tissue. You say, like, get me a Kleenex. Which means a tissue paper that you use. Okay, now we're going really deep into anyway, the Anyway, all, all I'm saying like, is that all, this kind of <laughs> all I'm saying like, is that Game Boy feels like is, my Game Boy is question. what like a portable <laughs> console is to people. That's that's a Game Boy yeah. in their mind. Whether what whatever company and they threw that away, they're like, I don't, we don't need that. Yeah, they tried to expand it. It's I think weird. that's a big mistake. I think they can funnel that hard into mobile and kill. I think if they well, they all, they, all they need to do is like they can do their own mobile shit, but yeah. fucking sell Mario to yeah. Sony and Microsoft. Yes. Yeah. And you know what? I thought a lot about that. I don't know. I was just like drinking too much one night or something. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Like, no offense to anyone that likes Xbox, but I'm just I'm not a fan. They have not sold me over. I really like Halo, but hey, man, brother. <laughs> you know, there's I don't want to turn on my console and see. Play disc and then Kanye West shitty new album, right? I'm yeah. Like, like, game. And that's why I have a lot of love for Nintendo is because they are it's just still games. about the fucking game. Yep. And when I can get pumped, I can give a fuck what the Wii U looked like. If the gamepad was like, I don't know, even uglier than it already is, <laughs> they released 3D World, which looks fucking fun. Like yeah. I have heard mm-hmm. nothing but great things about it, and I'm really stoked to play it. And you know they still have me because they still make good games. So so sue me. Right? Good. It's like, Since I thought in, you in were that, talking about 3D Land, I didn't look up much about 3D World. I was going to say actually on Darcy's little uh, spiel there. Let's talk about yeah. Mario and the idea of their newest game, which is basically the the thing that I've heard is that it's every good thing about every Mario game it's smashed one. into one like awesome game. I'm into that. The only complaint is that it's Big it's guy. still Mario. But Which this, I mean, why is that really why an is issue? That, why is that a day? Yeah. 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 I don't know. Shit, like, it's still married. Yeah, like what? Okay, it's <laughs> oh, the best shit, it's ever made story. It looks yeah. ever made. This is my like Sony fanboy coming out, but it, it looks like they're like, hey, 
that little big planet's got some good shit with yeah. the four okay. show up. Let's 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 put yeah. that in our game. I uh, I'm gonna put a fairly biased opinion in. I hate cats. And they <laughs> added a cat suit to the Smero game that allows you to climb up walls and stuff. I'm into it. Cool mechanic. Don't like cats. And That's all. No. End the trailer it was like. Cat no. Fun. It's got aspects of like the new, the relatively new four player co op that's in the DS and the, the yeah. Wii game that just came out like six months ago. What was that? The Wii Mario? Super Maybe Mario 2D Land? I don't remember what it was. Yeah. Fun the one that came. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Super uh, Mario 3D should be fun time. Selection of <laughs> Mario games. Anyway, yeah. that came out where everyone else could play as Toad and you were Mario, so you were the coolest, yeah. obviously. And then couple that with. Mario Party and other aspects of like the Mario Golf or Kart or whatever. They smash that all together in one game so you have kind of breathers where you take a break from platforming and you go to like, do like the Mario Party yeah, race. Race. Yeah, which is awesome really because cool. on its own like the sports games take a while the Mario Party games rip friendships asunder. Yeah. I love Mario Party. <laughs> I love like, Mario Party. I, I've never too. owned a Nintendo console, so I've never like yeah. grinded a Mario yeah. Party. But I love a good. Do you know? Is it a myth or not that they used to sell or they retrofitted a glove to come oh, with? They did. No they one, did that. No one took it. No one cared though, right? Because it was like uh, I don't care. It's they, not like the Wii gloves. They added a glove that covered the palm of your hand. Because so many of the Mario Party games involve dizzling Spit and thumbs. Thing. <laughs> people, people are getting yes. blisters from the thumbs. <laughs> Nintendo gets off on that. Oh, stuff. Like, I'm like in Dragon Ball Z when oh, you're like, man. Oh, man. Man. you fucking nuked my controller. Yeah, the old, the old Budokai two Budokai yes. games where you get in beam battles, you have to spin the sticks yes. to win. He <laughs> ripped the top off one of my analog sticks. You can yeah, fucking look at it. it. I still have it here. It yeah. like burned the top off the analog stick from trying to. Spin there was. One time I was playing at my old apartment with fucking Kyle and Justin, and they're like, "Okay, I'm, I'm about to them. I've been brushing up on the Budokai recently." Yeah. So they're like, "We'll beat the shit out of Rusty." Fuck. Him. And you're gonna be, you're like, I'm just like ready. As soon as it beam I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> "We're done." Yeah. They give up. They look at me. My hands fucking bleed. Yeah. <laughs> you're basically jerking your controller yeah, off. Just like, so like, see. <laughs> And so, fucking done. just to hop back, what is what are everyone's feelings in general? Will you ever? Will you, are you gonna bother trying to get a, get your hands on this Mario game? Or are you no. interested at all? I'm, I'm not gonna buy a Wii U for it. That's I've been kind of looking at buying a U for a while. Yeah, a Wii U or whatever it's called. How much does anyone know what they cost right now? I can solemnly it, swear that I'm probably the only person in this room that bought a Wii U on launch day. <laughs> And yeah, you are. Solemnly, like, regretted it because for a year I played nothing. nothing, and they were like, "You didn't like Zombie U? Fuck Zombie U! You know <laughs> I want when I got fucking what was it? The N sixty four came out with Mario sixty four. Those yeah. are my memories of Nintendo. Yeah. This is a fucking great game. I don't give a fuck about Killzone. I hate launch titles. Every console for the last. Eight years has had shitty launch titles. Yeah, and I'm fucking yep. tired of it because Fantavision for PS2. The Vita had a shit launch title. The Wii hey, Uncharted Golden Abyss was pretty Uncharted good. Uncharted was a, yeah, it was a, it was Uncharted on the Vita. It was pretty cool, but you know, I got I, I sold my Vita later after you know Metal, Metal Gear and a few things I wanted to work around on with, but. For the most part, launch titles have sucked, and it's really disappointing, uh, especially sad. Rayman Legends was supposed to come out with the Wii U and be a Nintendo exclusive. And then they were like, actually, and, fuck this. And system. then they were like, fuck you, we're going to release it on every console a year from now. Interjection, that game is fucking sick. That game is amazing. amazing. <laughs> it's, it's been, if you haven't played Rayman Legends, go play it because it's great. Me it's and Dylan played play that co-op, and it was the most fun I've had in a co-op game yeah. for a while. It's, it's a perfect platform, man. It really we're, we're trying to do speedruns and it was so stressful and fun. I know what you mean though. It's it's and like we were talking about earlier, it's it just seems so odd that launch titles are so lax. They're so bad, like the three DS bad, the Vita bad, the PS4 and the Xbox. Man. Yeah, I bought you bad, right? I bought the three DS 
pretty much when it came out because yeah. I heard you that wanted Legend of Zelda, didn't Legend you? of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Star Fox were coming out for it. And I'm like, I need this. They said it would be out a month after it came out. It was like, like six months. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> after then, the price drop. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I had it before the price drop, and I was like, oh well, this is fucking bullshit. And they're like, oh well, you get all these free games. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was. Cool. I got like three Zelda games. I'm like. Score! Oh, that was sweet, right? And, yeah, and yeah, I've said it before, Pokemon will forever, until I'm dead, convince me to buy whatever, the system. System. Yeah. whatever yeah. hardware I need to play a Pokemon game, I'll buy it. Well, that's one of the reasons why I... <laughs> no, like, it's not even a question. No, I was, like, dead broke when Pokemon came out, and I was like, I'm getting a 3DS. <laughs> that's one of the reasons why I have, like, tended to buy the Wii U or whatever for the new whenever Pokemon Zelda Stadium. comes out. <laughs> Zelda, yeah. I can guarantee that Zelda will be Either it's gonna, you know, this will make or break them because I think whatever Nintendo does next is going to establish where they will be in the future. Yeah. For, because, for some reason, we have this idea that consoles are accelerating, but we've had numerous things in the past. Sega completely went out yeah, of business gone. as far as hardware is concerned for consoles. The Genesis was kind of a sort of floundering effort against the SNES. And then the Dreamcast was a straight up fail. Was a complete. Yes. It. <clears throat> well, the, uh, the the fucked up thing is that the hardware was there, but then the software, which they, which is like available for people to use, which ended up becoming piracy, which is what people want to do now, which is stupid because they complain about the fact that you have to be always online or whatever. Anyway, that's the reason the Dreamcast disappeared is because people were able to replicate the games easily because there was no DRM. Yeah, and the PS2 had a DVD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Like, the PS2 and the Xbox yeah. came out. Yeah, yeah. The PS2 and the Xbox came out and shat all over the Dreamcast. Yeah, but, yeah. I think uh, that the PS2 was probably the Dreamcast cool. was really fun. And we've seen well, like cool. we've seen like little things like the N gadget kind of come out and flutter and then disintegrate. Yeah. Don't even yeah. engage. Yeah, so yeah. engage. And it's gadget. fucking ridiculous that resolution and it's yeah. Falling. Don't even talk about that. But uh, <laughs> there's no re. I mean, I know it's Nintendo, but like. As far as a speculative per- or perspective goes, like why can't it fail? Honestly, oh, I I do not like they've sold what like four million Wii U's now or something. Yeah, like I really don't see a new Zelda selling more systems. I they think already out. I I think that four million is their core it's base. The people that want it already. There's the people that want it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> I don't. Really I don't uh, like if. Same thing, same thing with this Mario game that came out. Like, is no one in this room is going to be swayed to buy a Wii U because no. of it, I don't think. If, um, if the... It, it was like a demo for the Wii U, I think. The Zelda, like, video they put out. Yeah, yeah. it was cool. It was just a demo showing, hey, this is what the Wii U What it could be. look like. It's a If a game console. that comes... If a Zelda game that looks like that comes out, I will buy a Wii U. Yeah. yeah. Hands down. Right. Like, but, like, you're... you're like we are the gamer crowd anyway, right? So like you were you're all you were already thinking about it. Yeah, that might it was already you. in my mind. The but thing like, was, like we were talking about earlier, we launched with Wii Sports. And it was the family console, it was a lot cheaper. How much did the Wii launch for? Two ninety nine maybe? Uh, I don't think it was even that. I think much. it was two forty nine or yeah. one ninety nine. Yeah. 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 It was very, it was relatively cheap, especially yeah. for a Christmas like family purchase. Yeah. Like a that was it. One. That was the, yeah. yeah. That's and it was supply. But I mean business wise, that was game over. They killed yeah. the Wii yeah. slaughtered the PlayStation and the Xbox last generation. I was remember I, I oh, yeah. it wasn't even a competition. No, I was working at Walmart at the time and we Fit had come out. It's kind of the reason why PlayStation and Xbox started going so far head to head against each other is because they weren't in the same league anymore. Like, gra- yeah, like visually, yeah. and I mean, it's a different audience. Yeah, but as far as it's numbers market go. segmentation. You know, yeah, there's, totally. there's no like family oriented person that's going to buy a PS4 yeah. and be like, let's play this together. Like, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time. Exactly. Yeah, like, it's not. It's fun. not what the that's PS4 true. has to yeah. offer. Yeah. You haven't seen the playroom yet. Okay, obviously not. But I'm just saying <laughs> that the Wii tailors to a certain crowd, and that crowd fucking bought the shit out of it. Yeah, yeah. Like, like now, uh, as we're ca- as we're kind of uh, talking about the, the general it. kind of gaming audience, as we're going a little bit over time here, <laughs> I want to kind of jump into the idea of smartphone mobile gaming and what you guys think about that. In that, recently there's been two. Uh, fairly heavy duty controllers implemented for iPhones and, and Android phones. And what do you mm. think about that kind of thing? Like, uh, as far as mobile gaming is Buy concerned. Buy a 3DS if you care that much. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Buy a Vita. Yeah. 
Like when you think of when you think about so mo- when you think Horizon. about mobile gaming, do you want to be on your phone when you do it, like a horizontal smartphone? I think there's a market for it. When I'm laying in bed, fucking trying to go to bed, playing some shitty ass game. Which of you guys think it's too much effort to hook up a controller to your smartphone to play a game? Yeah, see, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm never gonna do that. Yeah, ever. I'm never gonna spend fifty dollars to buy a fucking. No. Whatever they call it. What do you mean by hook up a controller? It's, like, it's literally a slide apart controller that you then compress into your iPhone and pretty much China or your smartphone it. slot, and then it is a controller for your game That's on the side. You pretty much see, buy a controller for and me, your phone goes into it. Yeah, and if, then you play it. If I'm getting involved enough to get a control, like, why would I bother with my phone? My smartphone, the whole purpose of smartphone is just portable, and yeah. I walk around, I use the screen to yeah. play games yeah. or wherever I can go. And I want be involved enough to fucking pick up a controller and play yeah. the game. I'm gonna go sit beside my TV <laughs> and play an so, actual fucking game. Other than as a gateway drug to like introduce people to what yeah. having a controller in your hand feels like, yeah. I think it's pointless. Yeah. There's like, cause exactly, my phone fits in my pocket. My phone with a fucking DualShock 3 strapped to it or whatever yeah. does not fit in my pocket. And the other thing is like, and then like, it's a controller. And, and then, then and if we, yeah. <laughs> and then I would rather have my, like, when I'm, like Steve said, oh, oh there's a market playing it when you're trying to pass out my Vita remote plays my PS4 so yeah, exactly. I'll go yeah. lay in my bed and play my PS4 yeah. how on is my that Vita. by the way I forgot to ask <laughs> it you works that yet? I have done that from like my room is the closest room to here it works yeah. great great cool yeah, and the PS3 was oh not, with this not even on the same league I get that now, <laughs> totally different waiting, but at the time but, uh, yeah. The Nvidia Shield does that too. Yeah, it's super yeah. Cool. No, I, I, but again, like that it doesn't fit your pocket. pocket. No, what? Well, it does not no, fit your pocket. If you're wearing, if you're wearing like cargo pants. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> and I mean, the other thing is software-wise. Have any of you? Has anybody come across a Android or iPhone game that you were like, oh, I need to like fucking no. sit down and play that? Not even close. Absolutely not. I I got my iPhone. I got an iPhone five in June, and I was stoked, and I got it. I hadn't had an iPhone four, and I was like, let's see what the games are. So I got Infinity. Infinity Blade 2 I don't know if you guys have heard of yeah, it. I've heard like of it the yeah. flagship like touch screen thing but that's the thing is it's a touch screen game and you actually like the controls I they might it, like when you plug the controller in it might somehow make it work but as far as I'm concerned it's touch screen only and another really big flagship game for handhelds was just like a Rayman port like it was Rayman Origins and Legends right. kind of mixed but it was really yeah, I played that and you just like jump with a button yeah and it's yeah. fun right if that's what you, you get like play. wings and you could get like different things but yeah you don't need a controller no it's still just exactly. jump so it's, it's like what's and the point that's one of the big arguments is that a lot of people jump People online are saying, like, oh, these games have implemented, like, digital thumbsticks and stuff, but, like, if the game is that complicated... Nobody has, who has ever... Nobody who plays games with a real thumbstick has ever sat down with an iPad and used a digital thumbstick and be oh, like, I hate them. this oh, is good. Yeah, exactly. Nobody has ever done that. <laughs> and generally, I've, I've never come across a game that wasn't just, a like, a weird port of another game that exists that can be played with a controller. I, like, I, I, I tried, tried to play, to play uh, uh, Mega Man on my iPad and it was the worst really I tried to play one of the I forget what the like the Liberty City stories or what a Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars or whatever it is you'll get a Vita and play it on that I I, no I played Chinatown Wars on an iPad once in class and they had the little digital try and fucking drive a car using a digital (laughs) yeah no fuck off that's bullshit yeah it doesn't work at all um but yeah like simple stuff like I like it for I play fucking Zed's Alchemy. Oh, That's what, I was going to say, like, just, like, <laughs> random little games like that. There's just, like, I'm going to, I have ten minutes while I'm waiting in line. I'm just going to. Yeah, I play Greg, Greg, Greg I like, the, the thing goes up and shit starts falling. That was my yeah, next yeah, point, was, like, what do you guys play? Like, I know I play the most off common one that I play is Dots. It's super simple. Yeah, that's that's great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's great. That makes sense. Works with a touch screen, has some nice haptic and audio feedback. Yeah. I play it for like five minutes and then I'm done. Mm. Yeah. That's what I expect out of mobile gaming yeah, yeah. and I'm like happy yeah. for and that's it. Yeah. So, I, I feel like XCOM on an iPad would be cool though. XCOM on touch is cool. Same with like Plants vs. Zombies. That kind of stuff yeah. does work well with a touch screen but, but again, you don't need a controller. And yeah, also, exactly. exactly. Yeah, it doesn't work with a controller. Like it does work with a controller but you don't need it. And on a small, relatively small screen, like a phone. I wouldn't want to play it on my phone. Yeah, I'd you play lose, it on an iPad. You lose a lot of the fidelity that you do with a nice big like, screen. Um, you can see everything that's going the, on. 
Razer tablet yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah, works like that. good as a gaming device. Yeah, that's a portable thing that actually makes sense. And it has the actual built it has well that's proprietary stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. So I mean general consensus is is right now is cell phone gaming something that you look for a peripheral to like enhance? No. It never was. No, no um, but sort of were what I thought of when we brought up this topic is um, using them now as controllers yeah. for our consoles a second is, thing, is yeah. kind of cool. Right. Um, I've got uh, Beyond for uh, PS3, PS3 yeah. and they have a, a free app that you can download to play co-op uh, on a phone if you want. Yeah. It has co-op with controllers too, but like for what? people that are not familiar with a controller, being able to use Aiden, the like ghost character, on your phone, I think you can do it with Jody too. I've never actually Watch tried. Watchdogs has something like that too. Watchdogs, well, that's yeah. different. That's different. The, there's <clears throat> whatever the, I forget what they call it, but like stuff like I think Battlefield. If they don't have it, they might eventually. The commander mode, and you can play on a tablet. I know Battlefield has, like, your matchmaking goes through your phone. Mm. Yeah. Battlefield 4, which yeah, I thought was really there's weird. alternate screens, like second screen, but not really. It's like a different, I don't know, what to, asymmetrical, I guess. Similar to stuff with, like, multiplayer, I don't know what it is, on the Wii U, where one person is, like, the trap master yeah. and everybody else. Which is cool as fuck. Yeah. That's neat. So, like, there's that kind of stuff with, with tablets or smartphones. It's kind of cool. Like, I think that... The, the Ubisoft one that's coming out, the, the I don't know what it's called. Oh, and then, like, Division? Division, yeah. yeah. Like, you, you fly a drone on your yeah, smartphone. Yeah, exactly. Or, like, stuff like that. It's, it's like, yeah. kind of interesting. The Xbox Smart Glass. Yeah, yeah that yeah. sort of yeah. stuff. That, that stuff is it's cool. Push what you don't need a controller for. That kind yeah. of thing is cool. And, like, so I got, I was playing Beyond, and, like, I got Leah to use the phone oh, yeah. to, like, play Iden. And it, it simplifies it. So, like, when you're playing with a controller, Iden is free-flowing, and you can, like, go up and down or whatever. It's just, like, sort of like a ghost, I guess, whatever you can control. With the phone, it sets, like, points, points, points right? that you just tap, and he goes there. Yeah, and you can cool. look around, or, which, like, it's kind of neat. <clears throat> And the PlayStation app lets you use your phone as a keyboard. Cool. So if you want to... Yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck that peripheral, fuck, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's like, or something yeah, no. Keyboard? So that's cool. Um, that kind of stuff, I think, is really... really yeah. Cool. I mean, they're all, they're kind of working to way towards stuff like that. Uh, well, like, little the Wii U, the time. that's what it is, right? It's like, we gave you a tablet, and the only thing to this day that I can say that I've enjoyed... With that tablet, is playing Rayman Legends with someone else, Fucking and having the having the gamepad, and you know, there's some levels where you you control the environment or you help that person yeah. get through. And it's like if I have, you know, if my girlfriend's over and I, I, you know, she doesn't play video games, so she give her the gamepad and be like, all you gotta do is cut the rope and drop the bridge, and yeah. you know, I get across the bridge, and it's simple, cool. but it lets other people join in. If you're, you know, playing video games, yeah, you know, <laughs> like so. when you used to give your little cousin or little brother the controller, yeah, yeah. Yes. And, 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 and they thought they yeah. were fucking playing yeah. the bad guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you control the uh, sun in the background there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. for sure. I, uh, I want to talk tonight about the Xbox a little bit, but we're a little bit. Uh, when does that launch today? It launched yeah, tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, a couple hours. Tomorrow, a couple yeah. hours. I, I actually, feel like once we see how that goes in the hands right of consumers, for, yeah, if there's midnight launches, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we can we'll talk about the Xbox next week probably. My phone is fucked. Yeah. Yeah. After ten o'clock. Yeah. 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 After we get some kind of meta reviews of the games and stuff, we can talk about that next week a little more. For now, though. Uh, if we want to go over kind of book club ideas for next week, I think that'd be good. No, um, yeah, I didn't even really think about that. Me and Steve were talking in the same kind of vein as Guacamelee. If you guys wanted to look into Mark of the Ninja, please yeah, do. Yeah. I've been out for Reyes or Reyes or Reyes. Reyes? Yeah, Reyes would, Reyes would be another one. Cool game. What's Reyes? Reyes is a circular world kind of simulation where you operate as a. Mountain. Similar to black and white. Yeah, you operate as a mountain, Sweet. forest, swamp, That's and, and white. ocean white. god. White. The detail in that game will blow you yeah. up. So you're basically creating this world, creating civilizations by giving them resources like animals and plants, and then they basically build they themselves against off each that, and they compete. Yeah. So I'd be I'd be down for Rita. It's about I think it's maybe Fucking ten or fifteen looks. bucks. Yeah. My vote's for Rias. Yeah, Rias would be cool if yeah. everyone wants to at least. 
I mean, if you can buy Rius or watch someone play it, at least watch one full era yeah. they're called. Yeah. It's, like yeah. a, it's like a playthrough. It takes about an hour. And you see kind of the evolution and fall of civilization. Cool. It's cool as shit. Like some playthroughs on YouTube or whatever. Yeah, anything, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah, right on. Cool. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, we had a nice hefty uh, session this week. That's yeah. good. Lots of stuff covered. So if you guys want to cover that for next week, I think that's cool. Yep. I'm and uh, for now, I guess we'll wrap it up. All right. That's yeah. Great. So that's episode three. Thank you, you for joining us. us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get drunk. See ya. <laughs> Play some metal. <laughs> uh, if anyone's like on the edge of buying American Ninja, I will literally buy it for you. Do it then. Have 